at 11, a proactive approach to protect students. Clayton County now asking parents to step up and be part of the solution. The idea is to utilize parent volunteers to help patrol schools and keep students safe. CBS 46's Patrick Quinn is live in Clayton County tonight. And Patrick, these adults will serve as sort of an extra set of eyes and ears. That's exactly right. They will be called VOPs, Villagers on Patrol. And at least in Clayton County, these parents will not be armed in this school district. Only the school resource officers can be armed with a firearm. But these parents, business leaders, community members, they will have to go through a background check and a formal training. This is just the latest measure by Clayton County Schools to keep their classrooms safe. Clayton County campus is just about to get their newest security enforcements parents. Essentially, this is an extra set of eyes and ears in all buildings for the building principal. Parents along with community members and business leaders can now volunteer to be VOPs or villagers on patrol, monitoring playgrounds, wanding students and patrolling hallways where a year ago officials found 97 firearms on campus district wide. Officials said they got this volunteer idea from parents themselves and we heard the community loud and clear. They want to be a part of the solution at a board meeting. The school's chief of police said this volunteer solution will also help serve as a band-aid to help the district cover shortages in school resource officers. We're having to wait on personnel to come in, but as we're waiting on personnel, we can use volunteers and uh, other individuals to help us secure our school grounds. In light of these personnel needs, one board member insisted on reopening the budget to allocate more money towards safety. Already, the district has spent more than a million dollars on clear backpacks, a must-have for all students at every school, and $5.2 million on body scanners which will be in use in all district high schools on day one. Cost aside, in Clayton County, when it comes to kids' safety, it takes a village. It is one thing that could help. So other measures, unfortunately, this is the time that we live in. And back here live in Clayton County, anyone who's interested, there is a training slash information session tomorrow night right here at Jonesboro High School. It'll be at 6 o'clock for anyone who wants to be one of these VOPs. The district would like to have 10 VOPs on every school campus by the start of the school year. Day one of class is August 3rd. Live tonight in Jonesboro, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News. It